Thanksgiving and these videos are one of my favorites because I, even though if we can't all get together this year like we usually do, it is still such a wonderful time of year to remember the traditions and everything we do. So part of that is of course the meal, the amazing turkey and the sides. And I of course like to sometimes switch things up. So every year I try different things maybe on my sides and I do a lot of roasted vegetables because they're easy because they can be served both room temperature or hot straight from the oven. So for these, it's a simple spiced carrot. You know, we put so much sweeteners and sugars into our dessert that day. Hello, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Overload, delicious, don't get me wrong. So when it comes to the actual meal, I try to be not as much. Don't try to laden things with tons of honey or sugar. So for these, I am using my homegrown carrots. That's why you're not gonna see them peeled. Instead, I scrub them. And I don't mind that outer texture because I know what I did to grow them. So I'm gonna first chop them all up and I'm gonna chop that end off. Now, when I chop them, you could do sticks, you know, kind of thin sticks, but I like to do more on biased pieces. So I go on angled pieces. For one, I think that just creates, I like the shape, but it also creates a nice surface area for to roast and get that flavor on them. And as you get to the top here, I go maybe slightly smaller pieces, just so they cook, you know, you want them to be somewhat the same overall, so they kind of cook at the same rate because if they're completely different sized pieces, they obviously are all gonna cook very differently. So I'm gonna keep chopping these up, gonna fill up this sheet pan, and we're gonna spice them up. That's the fun part, let's change it up this Thanksgiving, right? So as I get to the end here, this fills up one sheet pan, and you know, I always think this recipe, it serves about six. On Thanksgiving, you're doing a lot of food usually, and even if you aren't, you can kind of eyeball it or think, you know, about two carrots per person roughly or something. But it fills up a sheet pan nicely and that's what I like. I try to think of each sheet pan being something different. Unless you're having a huge gathering, you'll need to do multiple. So at this point, when it comes to roasting, what do you need? You need an oil. So I'm gonna just use olive oil. I'm just gonna make sure I get it over all of them and then I'll even beyond that, we'll later on stir it and just make sure but a generous dose of olive oil, one gives it flavor, it helps it roast a lot better, so it really is important. So the olive oil on, now's the fun part, flavoring it. I think it's so fun to switch it up. Carrots have such a sweetness to them that you can really put strong flavors with it and it balances it out. Of course, the first thing is gonna be salt. Like, that is extremely important to make sure these are well seasoned, it really balances out that sweetness, and guys, don't be scared of as much salt at home. Of course, if you have issues with it, you need to watch it, but we get most of our salt from eating out of processed foods. So if we're cooking at home completely, it's not as much of a problem. That's what I love. So I'm gonna put some coriander on it. Coriander and I think carrots, they just kind of go perfectly together. And it's just kind of a good spice to use. And it's one that's not used a lot. So I like to really make sure I get it in there. And then some, this is different, some cinnamon. I love to use cinnamon in savory ways. I think it's really important. And I think obviously it's very just like, we're comfortable with it around the holidays because we're so used to it in fall, autumn, Christmas dishes. And so I love to incorporate it in instantly. It just smells good. A little bit of cumin. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I kind of love this though. It's a completely, it's a strong flavored spiced dish. And I think it really is gonna surprise you how delicious it is. And sometimes, let's be honest, Thanksgiving can be bland. It can be a lot of brown, it can be a lot of blah, not a lot of flavor. So we're gonna flavor this up and make it really good. So then a little bit of garlic granulars or like, okay, so why am I doing this as opposed to just fresh garlic? If you put on just chopped garlic at this, how I'm gonna roast it, it could really burn and get kind of bitter. This doesn't get bitter, and so that's why I like to use it. So I am gonna mix it up here. I just wanna make sure they're all evenly coated. The oil is all around, the spices are really all around. That's just really important to make sure that it's evenly flavored, evenly seasoned, and spread it back out so it's somewhat on a single layer. That way they don't steam, but they roast, and that's kind of really the important thing, is just to make sure that they're gonna roast evenly, because that's what's gonna help them have the even flavor on them too. So we're gonna pop them into our oven, roast at high heat. That's what gives them good flavor, good color. Pull them out and finish it up. So these could be done and delicious on their own, but I like to dress it up. For the holidays, I think it's fun just to add some extra effort to it. So I'm taking some medjool dates. 
I love dates. They literally are like candy. And I'm taking this pit out of the center. So I just cut them open, make sure the pit's gone. I think you can buy, or I know you can, pre-cut or pre-pitted ones. I like to do it myself. And then I just slice them. This is so much easier to do if you pop them in the freezer. So I keep them in the freezer. Then they don't stick quite as bad when you're going to chop them. And they just chop up easier. So just a couple things that make it a little bit more simple because they get sticky because they're literally just these delicious, sweet treats. And I, I do, I'm kind of obsessed with them and use them around the holidays a lot. So I'm pop those back in there. And then some pistachios. I think pistachios, one, go really well with dates. They also go really well with carrots because they have like just a good almost sweetness on their own too. And so they hold up really well together. I like to just give them a little bit of a rough chop. You could use them whole, but I think that rough chop just kind of breaks down some of them a little bit better. And then this is just gonna be the topping on top of the carrots. It kind of dresses them up. It makes it a little bit more just festive, a little bit more, I don't know, delicious. It's just fun to do some of these things and kind of make it a little bit more unique. It's all about a lot of flavor and getting those flavors to be enhanced by other flavors. So we're gonna have these and set them aside and then we'll just be ready to put everything together. These are roasted. Guys, this is what I love about roasted vegetables is after the turkey's done, after kind of everything else is ready, you can roast vegetables in the last like 20, 30 minutes. So the turkey usually needs to rest anyway. Everything else that's pulled from the oven can kind of just sit for a second. And then you can finish this up. That's what I love. I think it's the best way to kind of multi function a big meal. So here they are. They're beautiful. If you want to check if they're done, you can just take a fork. You know, are they tender? Does it insert easily? I like mine to have just slight texture. So I want not crunch, but I don't want them to just be mush either. That's, no, it's a vegetable. It should have a little bit of a crunch. So at this point, guys, I wish you could smell that spice blend. It's like you're at this amazing spice market and it's just, oh, it's good. We don't need a bland Thanksgiving. We need a delicious Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna put them right onto my serving platter. I'm always someone that will serve almost everything on a platter actually, other than like maybe, well, no, anything looks good on a platter, guys. I love it. I think it displays it better. It makes it easier for people to take some. It just spreads it out, which I think is nice. Look at that. If that doesn't look good, I don't like, it just smells amazing. It looks amazing. You can kind of pile them up in the center. <sighs> what is great about this is it feels like it maybe took a lot of work. It smells like it's extra special because it is, but it's so easy. So you, I often will get these trays ready to go, let them sit out a little bit at room temperature because they can handle the time out. And then they're just ready to pop in the oven whenever you need to. So to finish that up, remember we chopped some dates. This is just kind of that like sweet treat on top. And the warmth of the carrots is really gonna soften those dates. It's gonna make them just kind of extra, not gooey, but just kind of like that sweet hit every so often, which I love. I also, of course, did a little bit of parsley. The Italian, you know, parsley, it just, it freshens it up. It gives you a little bit of a fresh kick. And then some of that chopped pistachio. Again, it gives you that crunch. It also just gives you a little bit of a salty flavor that goes along with it so well. And look at that. It's like a beautiful presented dish. That is what is fun about a meal, especially one around the holidays is who doesn't want to have that? I love the color. And it adds some vibrance and some brightness to your meal. Guys, I have to try it. I would not be a good host if I didn't. Mm. I love it. No one spice just stands out. You get this spice blend that marries really well, especially with just that hint of date, which I got a piece in there, don't worry. It's just delicious. And it's such a fun way to switch it up and not have a bland side dish. Make a side dish the star of your meal. That way we wanna eat more of it, which is all around good. I hope you appreciate this. I hope you try this. Try it out on a weeknight before Thanksgiving because it's so quick. And then you'll know what you love about it because you're gonna love it. So share this around because sharing these videos really helps me. Check out the website, wiseguide.com for more great recipes and other content. Tell me what you think, leave comments. That's the best thing, you guys. I love the interaction with you and you feed me so much energy, so that's great. So try it, have it for Thanksgiving. Enjoy, happy Thanksgiving.